Travel Buddies and Saute. How are you guys doing? I pray this video finds you guys well. The scale misses you guys so, 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 so much. I miss being in the classroom with you. I miss feeling your energy and seeing your smiles. But hopefully we will see each other very soon. But in the meantime, I'm going to bring you a short lesson on the power of kindness. Why is kindness important? You know, we often think of kindness as an action and not a lifestyle, right? However, the Bible tells us that we are to clothe ourselves in kindness, which goes far beyond just doing things for others every now and then. Kindness is a fruit of the spirit. That means if you are living the way you're supposed to, according to God's word, then kindness will be a fruit that grows out of your life, right? So when you think about kindness, what comes to mind? Hmm? Probably an action, right? Doing something good for someone or doing something nice for someone else. That's true and that's good, but we're gonna start thinking about kindness as a lifestyle. That means actions, words, and attitude. We'll talk about words first. Colossians 3 and 12 says, therefore, as God's chosen people, holy and dearly loved, Clothe yourselves with compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. You know, it's easy to be unkind with your words. You know, saying the first thing that comes to mind, especially when we're angry or bothered. But unlike the nursery rhyme that says, sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me. Well, words do hurt. And we will regret those words that we put out in the atmosphere. But as Christians, making kindness a lifestyle will make using kind words so easy. And that's by taking a little extra time to think about what we say and how we say it out loud, okay? So start thinking, are my words kind? Are they encouraging? Are they kind to everyone? Would Jesus approve of the words that I'm using and the words that I'm speaking to others? Think about it. I'm going to do a demonstration. I have some toothpaste right here. Okay? So think of the toothpaste as your words. This is your words. So I'm going to squeeze the toothpaste out onto the plate, right? Those are your words being spoken out loud in the atmosphere to someone else. Okay? Now, the next thing I'm going to do is try to put this toothpaste back in the tube. Oh, it's not, it's not going in. It's not going back in. It's just making a bigger mess, right? Can't get it back in. Okay. So, just like I said, think about this toothpaste as your words. Once it goes out, you can't take it back in. It's very difficult to bring back in. And it does nothing but cause a big mess, right? So next time you speak something, speak kindness. You know, think about... Will this encourage someone? Will my words make someone's day better? So I'm going to challenge you this week. Before you speak, 
whether it's to your neighbor, your friend down the street that you're gonna ride your bike with or your skateboard or play basketball with or, or your sibling or your parents. Think about the words that you use. Will those words be kind or will they not be so kind? And make a choice to use kind words and kind words only. Thank you guys for listening. I will see you guys on the next video. Bye.